what causes a fibromyalgia victim to have problems with memory and focus and distractibility and brain fog? Well, it's not anxiety. It's not depression. It's not gastrointestinal complaints. What it is is pain. Uh, there was research presented in February of this year at the 6th World Congress of the World Institute of Pain that shows that pain is what negatively affects a fibromyalgia victim's ability uh, to think correctly. This is really important research because for years, for years, many people were told, many people suffering with fibromyalgia were told that, you know, the reason you've got an inability to pay attention, the reason you feel so distractible, the reason you can't, you know, follow through, the reason you look kind of look like an adult ADHD person is that, you know, it's your depression, uh, it's your anxiety, uh, it's your, you know, it's these other symptoms you might have, like, you know, the widespread pain or it's the sleep problem you have. Well, really, this is the first research to pretty much uh, give us a really good definitive look and tell us that it's the pain that distracts your brain. It's the pain that makes you behave that way. Now, why would it do that? Well, I mean, if you just think about it, you know, if you don't have fibromyalgia, you're probably not going to understand what I'm about to say, but if you imagine you uh, had like a rock in your shoe and, you know, like a, you know, a decent sized rock, if you had that rock in your shoe, you know, for maybe a couple hours, uh, it might be slightly uncomfortable, but you forget about it. If, however, you had to have that rock in your shoe with every step you took every second of the day for five years or seven years, you would only think about that rock in your shoe. You wouldn't be able to think about anything else. You wouldn't be think, able to think about, you know, making a grocery list. You wouldn't be able to think about, you know, paying attention to your child when they're telling you about their school day. You'd have a very hard time remembering what someone just told you because you have this thing that is driving and nagging you like a huge gorilla on your back, except it's a gorilla, you know, stabbing you. Uh, in, in, in the shoulders. It's a gorilla making your joints hurt. That's what fibromyalgia pain is like for people that suffer from it. And it distracts their brain. It makes their brain not function correctly. Now I could go off into a lot of the different brain areas, but I, I thought this was a very, very important piece of research because I see a lot of people that are diagnosed with fibromyalgia and you know, we being kind of the, me having kind of the neurological background that I have, I'd always thought that pain is probably what it was, but you never could know for sure. I think what it should do, what this piece of research should do for clinicians who actually read it, which of course is a, uh, a problem in and of itself. I don't know if you've known this or not, but uh, most of the doctors that you see, and I don't really care if they're an MD or a DC, an acupuncturist, ND, whatever, the vast majority of them don't read anymore. Most of them stopped reading once they got their degree. You know, occasionally they might read something, but you know, in the case of the medical doctor, mainly what they're reading is what the drug companies. Uh, tell them to read, which is why what they have to give you as a fibromyalgia victim is mainly, you know, medication. And medications don't work all that great for fibromyalgia because it's a very long sentence there, huh? There, there's a lot of different subtypes of fibromyalgia. Uh, and a lot of people don't read. Uh, many people who consider themselves alternative or kind of outside the box, a lot of them don't read either. Uh, they heard something at a seminar five, ten years ago, and, you know, that's what they do. They're going to give you magnesium and, uh, you know, riboflavin, and you know you should be good to go. If that doesn't work, hey, I can't help you. I actually had like this is funny. I actually last week had a lady diagnosed with fibromyalgia. She'd been seeing someone here. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter who it was, but they're seeing someone locally who uh, basically said, you know, you have this deficiency and this deficiency. Didn't actually ask the question, why do you have you know the iron deficiency and the zinc deficiency? Just said, well, you're deficient in these. Take all these supplements. Two months goes by, uh, nothing's changed. The patient is told double the dose. <laughs> Oh, man, that is that is really bad care. I'm sorry, that, that, that doesn't make any sense. So um, what this research should do for the people who read it is it should tell them that it should actually help them understand what you're going through. Because when you have pain, especially if you've got like that rock in the shoe pain, it's going to be very difficult to focus on anything else. It Actually, what, what makes a, a person with fibromyalgia have a hard time complying with whatever treatment plan someone comes up with them, uh, whatever someone comes up with them. So... Uh, for example, you go in the, and you go to the, the naturopath and they say, well, take this, 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 and have this diet. Well, it's going to be very hard for, the, for you to necessarily keep up with them because you may not remember what they told you. That's why, you know, in our office we have, a, some thing, we have a lot of different systems engineered to kind of, you know, shortcut that memory problem. We use a lot of uh, printed uh, materials, you know, and, and checklists and things. Um, so I, I just thought this piece of information was really great because what it should do for the, con for the con clinicians that are treating pharmacology victims and people that are actually you know, care is that it's not anxiety that makes them have these memory problems and these cognitive problems. It's not depression that does it. It's the pain. And I'm going to leave you with this. You should be seeing someone, in my opinion, who realizes that fibromyalgia is not about tender points. Okay, 
Fibromyalgia is about three things. It's a pain, fatigue, and sleep problems. That's what it's about. It's not about 11 of 18 tender points and trigger points. That is old news. And if you're seeing someone who's still following that model, it's time to upgrade.